The Gospel According to Coco Chanel, Life Lessons from the World's Most Elegant Woman is a self-help book that presents readers with practical life lessons drawn from the life and legacy of one of the most iconic fashion designers of all time, Coco Chanel. Written by Karen Carbo, the book explores Chanel's life and work, highlighting the key insights and lessons that readers can apply to their own lives. In this detailed summary, we'll explore the major themes and insights of the book, as well as the key events and experiences that shaped Chanel's life and work. Chapter 1, A Brief Overview of Coco Chanel's Life The book begins with a brief overview of Chanel's early life, which was marked by poverty, hardship, and struggle. Born in 1883 in the Loire Valley of France, Chanel was the daughter of a peddler and a laundry woman. Her father abandoned the family when Chanel was still a child, and her mother died when she was just 12 years old. After her mother's death, Chanel was sent to an orphanage, where she learned to sew. She later became a seamstress, working in a shop in the town of Mlins. It was here that she met Etienne Balson, a wealthy horse breeder who became her first love and introduced her to high society. Chapter 2, Chanel's Approach to Style in this chapter, Carbo explores Chanel's approach to style and fashion, which was marked by simplicity, elegance, and a rejection of the ornate and fussy styles that were popular in her day. Chanel's signature designs included a little black dress, the Chanel suit, and the Chanel No. 5 perfume, which became some of the most iconic and enduring creations in the fashion world. Carbo explains that Chanel's approach to fashion was influenced by her early years as a seamstress, as well as her experiences with Balson and other wealthy men. She also notes that Chanel's designs were influenced by the changing roles of women in society, as more women began to enter the workforce and demand clothing that was both practical and stylish. Chapter 3, The Importance of Taking Risks In this chapter, Carbo explores Chanel's approach to risk-taking and the role that taking bold risks played in her success. Chanel was known for her willingness to experiment and take chances, even when doing so went against conventional wisdom. Carbo explains that Chanel's approach to risk-taking was driven by her desire to be true to herself and her vision, rather than simply following the trends of the day. She notes that Chanel's willingness to take risks ultimately paid off allowing her to create designs that were both innovative and enduring. Chapter 4, The Power of Authenticity In this chapter, Carbo explores the importance of authenticity in Chanel's life and work. She explains that Chanel was committed to being true to herself and her vision, even when doing so was difficult or unpopular. Carbo notes that Chanel's commitment to authenticity was a major factor in her success, as it allowed her to create designs that were truly original and distinctive. She also notes that Chanel's approach to authenticity can serve as a model for readers looking to be true to themselves and their values. Chapter 5, The Beauty of Simplicity In this chapter, Carbo explores the role that simplicity played in Chanel's approach to life and style. She notes that Chanel was known for her elegant and understated designs, which eschewed the fussy and ornate styles that were popular in her day. Carbo explains that Chanel's approach to simplicity was driven by her desire to create designs that were both beautiful and functional. She notes that Chanel's commitment to simplicity allowed her to create designs that were timeless and enduring, rather than simply following the fleeting trends of fashion. Chapter 6 the importance of self-reliance. In this chapter, Carbo explores Chanel's emphasis on self-reliance and the role that it played in her life and work. She notes that Chanel was a fiercely independent woman who valued her own freedom and autonomy. Carbo explains that Chanel's commitment to self-reliance was reflected in her designs, which were often inspired by menswear and other traditionally masculine styles. She notes that Chanel's approach to self-reliance can serve as a model for readers looking to assert their own independence and forge their own path in life. Chapter 7, The Value of Hard Work In this chapter, Carbo explores the role that hard work played in Chanel's success. 
She notes that Chanel was a tireless worker who was dedicated to her craft and put in long hours to perfect her designs. Carbo explains that Chanel's work ethic was driven by her passion for fashion and her desire to create designs that were truly exceptional. She notes that Chanel's approach to hard work can serve as a model for readers looking to achieve their own goals and pursue their passions. Chapter 8, The Importance of Confidence In this chapter, Carbo explores Chanel's confidence and the role that it played in her success. She notes that Chanel was a self-assured woman who had a strong sense of her own worth and value. Carbo explains that Chanel's confidence was reflected in her designs, which were often bold and daring. She notes that Chanel's approach to confidence can serve as a model for readers looking to build their own self-esteem and assertiveness. Chapter 9, The Power of Persistence In this chapter, Carbo explores Chanel's persistence and the role that it played in her success. She notes that Chanel faced many obstacles and setbacks in her life, including poverty, rejection, and personal tragedy. Carbo explains that Chanel's persistence and determination allowed her to overcome these challenges and achieve her goals. She notes that Chanel's approach to persistence can serve as a model for readers looking to overcome their own obstacles and persevere in the face of adversity. Chapter 10, The Importance of Reinvention In this chapter, Carbo explores Chanel's approach to reinvention and the role that it played in her life and work. She notes that Chanel was constantly evolving and adapting her style and designs to stay relevant and fresh. Carbo explains that Chanel's approach to reinvention allowed her to stay at the forefront of fashion for decades and remain a cultural icon long after her death. She notes that Chanel's approach to reinvention can serve as a model for readers looking to reinvent themselves and stay relevant in their own lives. Conclusion The Gospel According to Coco Chanel Life Lessons from the World's Most Elegant Woman offers readers a compelling and insightful look into the life and legacy of one of the most iconic fashion designers of all time. Through a series of practical life lessons and insights drawn from Chanel's life and work, author Karen Carbo offers readers a powerful set of tools and strategies for achieving success and fulfillment in their own lives. Whether you're a fashion enthusiast, an aspiring entrepreneur, or simply someone looking to live a more fulfilling and authentic life, The Gospel According to Coco Chanel is a must-read book that offers valuable insights and practical advice that can help you achieve your goals and live the life you've always dreamed of. In addition to the lessons and insights offered in each chapter, The Gospel According to Coco Chanel also provides readers with a fascinating look into the life and times of this legendary designer. Carbo provides readers with a detailed and engaging account of Chanel's childhood, her rise to fame in the fashion world, and the many triumphs and tragedies that she experienced along the way. Through Carbo's vivid prose and meticulous research, readers are transported back in time to the glittering world of early 20th century Paris, where Chanel rose to fame and established herself as one of the most influential figures in fashion history. Whether you're a fan of Chanel's iconic designs, a student of fashion history, or simply someone looking for inspiration and guidance in your own life, The Gospel According to Coco Chanel is a book that offers something for everyone. With its engaging writing style, practical life lessons, and fascinating insights into the life and times of one of the most important cultural figures of the 20th century, this book is sure to be a classic for years to come. Overall, The Gospel According to Coco Chanel is a masterful work of biography and self-help that offers readers a unique and valuable perspective on life, success, and the pursuit of excellence. Through its powerful lessons and insights, this book will inspire and motivate readers to pursue their passions, embrace their individuality, and strive for greatness in all areas of their lives. 7 Lessons Learned from the Gospel According to Coco Chanel be true to yourself and your own sense of style. Embrace change and be willing to take risks. Always strive for excellence in everything you do. Be confident and assertive in your dealings with others. Focus on quality over quantity. 
continually seek out new knowledge and experiences. Don't be afraid to challenge the status quo and blaze your own trail. If you want to learn more about these lessons and how they can be applied to your own life, be sure to check out The Gospel According to Coco Chanel by Karen Carbo. Click the link in the description to purchase your own copy today and start living life like the world's most elegant woman. And if you found this book summary helpful and insightful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and followers on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more book summaries in this category and stay up to date on all the latest releases in the world of literature and self-improvement.